So we're continuing this, uh, I guess, mini series at this point with the next game they released, which was Citadel. I think it's more supposed to be adventure-ish rather than just pure action. Meta is gonna be releasing games like that periodically or like every once in a while now. So we'll be just keep coming back to this world. <laughs> I mean, this 360 kind of is low quality, so it can't be perfect. So I think I'm searching for the instructions just like before. There's some armor, some, uh, I don't know, attachments, like... <laughs> this is some kind of, like, tricks. Whoa. Is it just for two people though? I think this is just some bonuses, yeah, with upgrades, so... Let's see what's going on. <laughs> I mean, this looks pretty neat. Oh yes, like a full-fledged game on the quest store. What's flying there? Should I collect this or... Well, I mean, for the achievements. Ah, oh, there's gonna be like levels, okay. Ah, uh, here's something. Infiltrate the pyramid through main gate, find hidden... Oh, come on. <laughs> Stages. And I'm alone. <laughs> what the? Baby lap. It's still so crazy to play in Horizon. Like, no more games. How that works. Also, I saw you can just do that, like a pushback. Well, that was quick. I think it's just like optional exploration and then you just shoot stuff. I use the recognizer shoot on the cracked wall to blow it up. Well, I am. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is more exploratory, like. We're not just in one place. But I like this mechanic. I'm not getting camped there. I also need to be careful with this, like... It works well, but... <laughs> I wish the red vignette would not be as frequent.
Ow. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool, like for a war team horizon. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it, though. Some deeper mechanics. No. <laughs> I wish I could just grab like ledges though. I can see this being very fun with friends. If someone would not quit on me. Uh, we'll have a boss fight I guess now. Oh, that's a big area. Ew! I thought it's a bonus gun for me. <laughs> I mean, you can't do some stuff here in the normal games, so... This is nice. He's walking weirdly, like frame by frame. Ah, relic. Oh, the sky. Where are you going? Whoa. <laughs> I hate the sun, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go here. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. That's actually pretty fun, like, not gonna lie. So what's this doing? I'm and press trigger to levitate objects. Oh. But how do I get this? Is this gonna be like a mega jump? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off to the next one. Gravity room. I wonder if the levels are like generated. <laughs> like they don't repeat or something. 
But it's not only just shooting, like, there are different mechanics going on. Can I jump with it? Cute. The what? There's more and more. <laughs> I think I will get back to the main menu because I don't have that much time left and I need to see what's more with the customization. So then we have like different armors for the credits we've got from the levels and they have like more speed, HP, then like the damages. We had this and there's also like a sword apparently. And it is like only, I think, two people adventure. Casual mode, veteran mode. Yeah, but overall, I'm digging it like as a standard world in the horizons. Like, this is very cool with me. What I appreciate is that it's not going with just simple mechanics. Like, there are stuff happening that I don't think I've saw in many games, even on the store. And like the size of the levels is pretty much adequate for only two people, because if there will be more, like in the boss fight scenario, yeah, I would see that, but not in the other stuff. I'd have to do like a small playthrough <laughs> to reach the last boss or whatever is there after the spider, though I'm down, like it's pretty much the situation that Horizon is impressing me more and more. I mean, I've not been in a long time, so there's definitely a lot of stuff that changed <laughs> since.